in this video I will show you another example of phase difference this will be the third example of phase difference here you will see we have to find the phase relationship between the i and v here here i is equal to minus 2 cos omega t minus 60 degree and v is equal to 3 sin omega t minus 150 degree okay see here to find the phase relationship between two alternating quantities we have to compare the alternating quantities with a m sin omega t plus or minus phi okay here see the voltage is in this form but the current is equal to minus 2 cos omega t minus 60 degree so at first i have to make the current i in this form you know that sine theta minus 90 degree is equal to minus cos theta therefore if i consider this omega t minus 60 degree as theta i can write this equation like this 2 sine here o theta is omega t minus 60 degree minus 90 degree this equation and this equation are equivalent so i can write it like this 2 sin omega t minus 150 degree and here this v is equal to 3 sin omega t minus 150 degree see the initial phase of the alternating voltage is equal to phi v which is equal to minus 150 degree and see the initial phase of the alternating current is phi i this is also minus 150 degree the initial phase is is equal to 150 degree minus 150 degree that means it will be minus 150 degree right from the reference axis therefore our origin of the voltage and the current will be started from the same point therefore our phase difference phi d which i have calculated as phi i minus phi p will be equal to minus 150 degree minus minus 150 degree which will be equal to 0 de 0 degree this indicates that our p and i are in phase or there is no phase difference that means their origin will start from the same point we can also show the phase relationship by drawing the waveforms let's say in the y axis i am considering the voltage and current and in the x axis i am considering omega t here this is our origin let's say with respect to the origin this is 1 2 3 1 2 3 this is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 Now with respect to this origin, let's say I am considering the angle 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240, 270. Here I have started drawing the angle from the positive side because here you will see the origin of the two waveforms will be minus 150 degree that means the as the angle or initial phase is negative that means our alternating waveform will have origin at the right side of the reference axis and the reference points will be 150 degree away from the reference axis and i have to take the origin at the right side 270 degree 300 300 30 360 degree 390 420 450 let's say now see this is i equal to 2 sin omega t minus 150 degree that means the origin will be at the right side this is 90 120 150 so this will be the origin after 90 degree from this point our alternating current will attain its maximum value so 0 30 60 90 so at this point our alternating current will have its maximum value 
plus 2 from this point after another 90 degree our alternating current will have 0 value 0 30 60 90 from this point after 90 degree we will get negative maximum minus 2 from this point after another 90 degree we will get 0 so if I join the points I will get an alternating waveform like this over full cycle this will be our current I now let me draw the voltage here see the voltage v equal to sine omega t minus 150 degree see here phi is equal to minus 150 degree that means I have to take the origin of this voltage from 150 degree right from the origin so 0 30 60 90 120 150 so the origin of the voltage will be at the same point of the origin of the current after 90 degree it will attain the maximum value so at this point our alternating voltage will have its maximum value after 90 degree from this point our alternating voltage will have its zero value after 90 de degree from this point our alternating voltage will have its maximum negative maximum value after 90 degree at this point our alternating voltage will have its zero value so if i join the points you will I will get a sinusoidal waveform like this okay so this will be our voltage here you will see the origin of the voltage and currents are at the same point therefore V and I in phase when two waveforms will be in phase you will see the origin will be at the same point the maximum value of the alternating quantity will be at the same point and the negative maximum will also be at the same point if I show you a neat graph you will see the waveform will look like this this will be our voltage and this will be current I here you will see this is our origin 150 degree from this reference axis here at this point at 240 degree that means 90 degree away from the reference point we will get the maximum value positive maximum uh, after another 90 degree we will get zero value of the alternating quantity after another 90 degree we will get the negative maximum see at this point our alternating quantity will go through negative maximum and here you will see with respect to the origin the angle is 270 degree now after another 90 degree you will see our alternating voltage and currents will be at zero so our V and I will be in phase now let me show you the waveforms in terms of complex plane here our current I equal to 2 sine omega t minus 150 degree and the voltage is equal to 3 sine omega t minus 150 degree okay now see if I convert this into a feather form I will get 2 phase angle minus 150 degree here I will get 3 phase angle minus 150 degree phase angle minus 150 degree if I rotate or move with respect to the sine omega t in clockwise direction our angle will be negative if I rotate in counterclockwise direction our angle will be positive see I have to move minus 150 degree to get the current phasor from this point to this line I will get 90 degree let's say I move another 60 degree therefore I get minus 50 degree with respect to this sine omega t therefore I can locate the current phasor let's say this is that current phasor I now I have to locate the voltage phasor here you will see the voltage phasor will have a magnitude of 3 and phase of minus 150 that means I have to rotate the same angle in, co in clockwise direction with respect to this sine omega t x is but voltage phasor will have a magnitude of 3 as the current phasor and the voltage phasor coincide therefore we I can say that our voltage and current 
we form are in phase okay that's it thank you